Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. So, I heard a rumor that uh, taking a bunch of uh, Mundus's would be strong in Daikokstan. So, let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, yeah, I only had one chance at this, um, because all of my Mundus's are on uh, one device. And then I only had one Mundus in the uh, friends list. Um, so I had to make this one count. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Mundus has uh, flight. And um, that works against the, uh, the mines in this mission. Uh, he does not have uh, no warp, however, so he's going to have trouble with the warps. And then uh, he has a very strong bump combo, the uh, homing bump combo. And uh, the homing bump combo, that's uh, kind of the best one uh, to use multiples of. Um, so any character with a strong uh, homing bump combo, it is uh, worth making uh, more than one. And then... Uh, he has a strike shot as well that uh, delays whomever he hits for three turns. Um, so that'll come in handy later when uh, the boss has uh, some strong ultimate attacks. Uh, but yeah, um, we need to get rid of these uh, Pretas in the corners. Uh, they have a uh, ultimate attack. And so uh, I'm going to use my homing basically uh, on every level to do the uh, main amount of damage. Uh, but I want to keep my positioning in mind. Um, I don't want my characters to start uh, in certain places on certain levels, or else they're going to take uh, uh, big damage, or else they will be in poor position. Um, so I'm going to try to do the first priority is uh, maintain everybody's position, and then second priority, do damage to everybody. Alright, here is the first mini-boss stage. Um, so my positioning here was good to begin the stage, uh, since we're away from uh, Dai Kokten, and uh, they have a uh, strong uh, short-range attack the first two turns. Uh, these warps in the middle, though, unfortunately, they're going to kind of trip me up. Um, so this Mundus is going to enter the warp, and then um, the direction that you come out of the warp is random, so you can't really count on anything. Uh, you just gotta jump in and hope that you, uh, you know, hit some of the teammates. Alright, that prey down the upper right hand corner, just uh, one more turn and I'm dead, so I gotta get him this turn. Now we're gonna jump in the uh, warp and hope it works out. Yes it does. So we'll live to fight another day. And then uh, thinking about the positioning for the uh, next stage, I don't want to be in the upper right-hand corner. So I'll try to stay out of there, but uh, the warps uh, can't do anything about them. All right, terrible positioning there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in some ways, these uh, pre-boss stages are more difficult than the boss stages. Um, because in the boss stages, all of the warps are concentrated in uh, like one side of the screen. Um, so they're pretty easy to avoid. Uh, but on these earlier stages, uh, they're all kind of here and there, so they're more difficult to avoid. So it's a little bit more kind of a luck game uh, in these early stages. Um, because all of our guys are dark, dark element, uh, we are doing extra damage to all of the enemies, uh, but we're also uh, taking extra damage. Uh, Mundus has very high hit points, though. Uh, we have over 100,000 total hit points. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. That makes me feel pretty good. <laughs> Alright, get a bunch of homings out there. Very good. There go the little guys, so we don't need to worry about their ultimate attack anymore. And then uh, once all the little guys are gone, then we can uh, just focus on uh, hitting as many Munduses as possible. And actually, I thought the uh, the timing of this video was pretty good, uh, because there was some uh, debate on the forums, uh, maybe started by myself, about um, kind of the use of like a character or a team of all of the same character. Um, I don't usually like to do this um, because I'm thinking from the point of view of somebody that makes uh, these uh, kind of playthrough videos, and then. Um, from a usefulness point of view, uh, this video might not be very useful to many people, because not many people have access to a team full of uh, Munduses. Uh, but from an entertainment standpoint, I think uh, these are pretty good. <laughs> when you use a team of all of the same character, then you really get a sense of kind of the strengths and weaknesses of the character. 
uh, since both are sort of uh, exaggerated. So this is a fun chance to see uh, what Mundus is really good at. Okay, so we're in the uh, first boss stage, and then uh, all of the warps, uh, when they come out, they're just going to be all along the, uh, the bottom of the screen. Um, so that's super easy for us to avoid. Uh, we need to sort of be at the uh, top of the screen anyway to get rid of these little guys. Um, so I'm just going to concentrate my guys up there and just keep hitting bump combos. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, and it was at this point that I realized that uh, the boss stages would be pretty darn easy, actually. <laughs> I can just keep my guys uh, all the way at the top of the screen the entire uh, time. And then I don't need to worry about that move around and explode uh, attack, uh, because my guys are going to be so far away. And uh, yeah, as long as I maintain my good positioning for all of the uh, boss stages, then uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this I was not expecting, though, uh, was taking down the masks uh, so quickly and so easily. Um, so on the very first stage, uh, Daikokuten is going to go in angry mode, and then all of the attacks are going to do extra damage. And then there's also going to be no more healing walls. Um, so in most cases, this would make the, uh, the mission much, much more difficult. And not, not impossible, but, you know, close to impossible. Uh, but with this team, uh, we'll see that it's uh, not that big of a deal, which shocked me, but... <laughs> okay, so second boss stage, uh, same thing, we want to get rid of the little guys in the corner. And then there's the new addition of the uh, Vishnu up there. Uh, we will ignore the Vishnu because it has uh, so many hit points that uh, it's not worth going after. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just keep hitting bump combos and just hope to take down everybody. Okay, and then I see a, a couple attacks coming up from uh, both Vishnu and uh, Daikokuten. So we're going to go ahead and use one of uh, Mundus's strike shots. And uh, yeah, it was at this point that I realized that having one of his strike shot is going to be very powerful, uh, but having four is going to be just mission breaking. It's crazy. Uh, so yeah, I basically get three turns of uh, free attacks. We're not taking any damage, which is awesome since um, we can't do any healing. And then, yeah, I just did the uh, left and right with the uh, Mundus down there so that I could maintain his position uh, at the bottom of the screen, which is where we want to keep all of our guys. Okay, last level, uh, we will, um, of course, get rid of the little guys and then move my guys towards the bottom uh, if I can. Okay, pretty good. And then, uh, yes, the boss is doing extra damage every attack. Um, but as long as we're not too close, uh, we should be okay. Okay, so I see that uh, Daikokuten has no attacks coming next turn, so I can uh, kind of wait on this uh, strike shot for now. And then uh, with this attack, we will start to use the stri uh, strike shots. And I don't believe Daikokuten is going to attack again for the rest of this mission. <laughs> so yeah, we'll keep using the delay strike shot. We will keep uh, hitting bump combos, and that should do it. Okay, one more strike shot. And then uh, the uh, transcendent form of Mundus here has uh, two tiers uh, to his strike shot. Uh, the only difference between the two tiers is that the higher tier gets more um, attack power. Um, but I would say, you know, go ahead and use it, uh, the lower tier, uh, if you're in need of it, because uh, the attack power is not that uh, useful. And there goes the boss. And just as I predicted, no more attacks from the boss after that first uh, strike shot on this level. Okay, so that was pretty entertaining to play. Hope that was entertaining to watch. And then um, I'll see about trying to put up more uh, homing party videos. Uh, those seem to be popular. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Take care.